Thank you. From one science fantasy to another, I'm going to give you a very quick glimpse into my world. I'm an artist based in Amsterdam and I grew up as a classical ballerina. And um, in this short space of time, I make cheap things look good. I use low-tech materials on the body to reshape the human silhouette. And all my projects start in a very experimental way. This is me in my studio in the red light district. <clears throat> so I'm here to talk about um, one of my recent projects, Swallowable Perfume. And as my other projects started, this started um, with experiments with yogurt, soy milk, denture tablets. Whoa. I didn't realise the sound was on, by the way. <laughs> now you're bloody showing off. <laughs> this is hair gel and eye makeup remover. And I was like, oh, wow. Careful you know, when I, you're walking around. Because the boards are about to break in my studio. Um, so all this is real time, the explosions that we were making. And I got really excited and I was thinking, how can I use this for a project? Because usually all the experiments that I do are on the skin. And this was sort of suddenly something that was potentially could be inside the body. Um, at the same time I was doing these experiments, I was bombarded by this very nice Australian uh, photographer, Paul Barbara, who came to photograph my studio. And within 10 minutes, he kind of pushed me into a corner and said, you got to watch this. So he sat me in front of um, Ray Kurzweil's Transcendental Man. And the first 10 minutes kind of just blew my head off. He kind of creates this technological utopia. But what he does say is that technology feeds on itself and in, if we don't merge with it, we're, we're going to fall behind. The most interesting thing that um, I found in Ray's documentary was that he was talking about how technology is going to become the size of a blood cell and that we'll be able to reprogram biology away from disease and away from ageing, which is a bit scary. I'm not quite sure how much we can trust this Ray Kurzweil because... He has a Lars Morissette poster sitting in his living room. <laughs> and he also collects these 300 cat figurines. But this got me thinking because I was doing these experiments and I'm also fascinated by the role of skin. This is a, a quote from a physicist. Um, Everything is an event on the skin. At the same time this was happening, um, I was also having conversations with a very good friend of mine, Laura Nino, who I believe is in the audience. And we were talking about smell, pheromones, and how the healthiest babies come from partners who have completely the opposite immune systems. So I was like, okay, thinking, thinking, thinking. I then contacted a mutual friend of mine, Sharif Mansi, who's a synthetic biologist. He's busy in Italy reconstructing life from single cells. And I Skyped him one evening, and I was like, Sharif, I've had this idea, I've had this idea. And he's like, okay, I'm like... Why don't we, do you think it's possible if we could like make this cosmetic pill that fuses with, with your immune system and then when you sweat, you sweat a fragrance? And he kind of, he warned me, he's like, I'm going to jump around like a monkey and he was jumping around like this crazy monkey behind Skype and I was like, can we do it, can we do it, please, can we do it? And he's like, oh, I'm not, I'm not sure, but leave it with me. So we kind of, um, he went off and did his research and in that time I went back to my red light studio and created this campaign. Go beyond accessory. <laughs> Express uniqueness. <laughs> Swallowable perfume. A new cycle of evolution. So Sharif came back to me and he's like, hmm, I don't think we can do it with the immune system. And I was like, oh, okay. He's like, but maybe what we can do is create a pill that mimics the structure of normal fat cells found in the body and use the body's enzymes to break down these fat cells to release a fragrance during perspiration. I'm going to finish on a quote. This is a, from the physicist again. A human being is like a rubber ball wrapped in an extremely delicate membrane. As a ballerina and a background in architecture, I'm fascinated with the body. And what I do as an artist is use this rubber ball as a way to crystallise my thinking on biology, technology, beauty and the body. 
and create these alternate worlds for these concepts to exist in and Swallable Perfume is one scene from this world. Thank you very much.